This is the last of a dozen small images that Rivera has strung across the bottom of his two large factory scenes. Seen together, they give a sense of a day in the life of Ford Rouge plant workers. In the background of this panel, workers line up to receive their $5 daily pay. This was an unprecedented wage for a factory worker at the time, and it allowed Ford to attract a massive labor force. In the foreground, their day over, workers crossed the Miller Street Bridge on their way home. Linda Downs. Rivera had a real strong feeling for the workers. But this is an especially poignant passage of the mural that shows these exhausted workers climbing this bridge to go home. But there's more going on here, as Nancy Jones explains. The predella panels relate to the notions of the Stations of the Cross in the Christian Church, with the last image having an allusion to the sense of death and sacrifice. In this panel, Rivera refers to specific deaths that had recently occurred. Just before Rivera came to Detroit, there was a huge demonstration. A large number of people converged on the Ford Rouge plant as part of a hunger march. Rivera was in Detroit during the depths of the Depression. Despite the $5 day, factories were not producing at full capacity, and many people were out of work. Jose Cuello. They had already lost their income. Many were losing their jobs. They were starving. There was nothing to lose here. As the marchers neared the Miller Street Bridge depicted in this panel, Ford's security men attacked them with tear gas, water hoses, and guns. Five marchers were killed, 19 wounded. It's probably not accidental that Rivera placed the bridge image immediately below the portrait of Edsel Ford, who was both Rivera's patron and CEO of Ford Motor Company. Rivera is referencing this event for the people who would know what had happened, which would have been everybody. This was an incredibly traumatic experience for a city that was filled with workers. The funeral of these five people was enormous. In Rivera's day, dealing with social issues such as the Miller Street incident was unprecedented in the context of a major art museum. Museums could show battles from long ago, but recent events were taboo. Today, however, artists regularly comment on social and political issues through their work. They bring difficult issues of the contemporary world to our attention in order to spur awareness and reflection. This is often unsettling, sometimes shocking. As in Rivera's time, museums today sometimes have to confront criticism related to such art.